Hi guys, it's Melanie from Melanie's Fab Finds and today I'm at the Intercontinental Hotel in London on Park Lane to review their new high coffee. Here we go. Right, so I've just come in and we're off to find the afternoon tea. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh, I think it's over there. Okay, off we go. Here we go. Right, this, so this is the room where we'll be having the high coffee and it's stunning, nice and bright. <gasps> Look, a piano, I should have brought the kids. That's the lovely Teresa. <laughs> and here's my table. Right. Stay with me, the afternoon uh, coffee, or the high coffee should I say, is coming soon. So welcome to the Wellington Lounge at the Intercontinental. My name is uh, Theresa and I will be serving you the high coffee today. So um, the reason why we have done high coffee is because the amount of uh, the demand of coffee has increased uh, so much in the past few years that we decided uh, we found a gap in the market and decided to combine the traditional afternoon tea experience with uh, the coffee. So so today we will be we'll, we'll, <laughs> We will be going uh, through a journey for the coffee, if you'd like to see the menu. So, first we will start off with uh, open sandwiches, which we will pair with the salted caramel espresso martini. Then we move on to the warm savouries, which we will pair with the cafe fredo. Then you will receive a palate cleanser, and then uh, we will move on to the traditional scones and pastries. And finish off with a nice uh, cafe corretto to uh, cleanse your tongue. So, um, would you like to hear a fun fact about actually how the coffee beans were discovered? Yep. So they were discovered <laughs> in Ethiopia by a farmer. He had uh, cows on his farm and one day he, um, he realized that his cows were getting very energetic and they were very out of control. And he found a plant on his uh, farm and that the cows were eating. And he was like, oh, okay, what is this? So he took it home and he, he, uh, he grinded it. And then he, that's how coffee actually started to Oh, be. wow, really? Yes. So, so you know, we have two. So that's how um, uh, the Arabica bean started. Okay. So we have uh, two types of beans. Mm -hmm. There's Arabica and mm -hmm. Robusta. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is uh, the salted caramel uh, uh, espresso martini. is made out of 100% uh, Arabica bean. That would be this one, guys. You yes. see that? Doesn't that look lovely? And that's all mine. Ha. It's a 1934 <laughs> blend. Mm hmm and it comes uh, from Ethiopia and it's from the company Musetti and it's actually the first uh, blend they did when mm -hmm. Musetti started in 1934 mm -hmm. and so this is made out of uh, Kalua, vodka, uh, salted caramel and uh, the, our wonderful espresso coffee. Wonderful, so, uh, it sounds really good. <laughs> It tastes great. Really so when I bring the sandwiches, mm -hmm. I will explain how the sandwiches pair with the coffee. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So enjoy for now. Okay. <laughs> I will be right back. Thanks very much. No Thank problem. you. <laughs> and we're on. All right. So these are the open sandwiches. Mm -hmm. The reason uh, they're called open sandwiches is actually because they don't have the top. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually, scientifically, these are much easier to read, uh, eat, because uh, you know when you have sandwiches and you squeeze it, sometimes all of it goes out, mm -hmm. and then we want you to enjoy everything in there. So we like to start off mm -hmm. with the free-range chicken sandwich mm -hmm. with celeriac and sweet pepper remoulade. Mm -hmm. So this uh, goes very well with the salted caramel martini because the okay. celeriac and the sweet pepper remoulade cuts through the bitterness of the espresso. Mm -hmm. So we recommend you start with that one and it is on a buttermilk brioche bread. Okay. Then we move on to the uh, heirloom tomato caprese sandwich. It is on an olive roll mm -hmm. and with uh, some uh, uh, watercress pesto. So this is a choice because of course of the mozzarella, of the creaminess of the mozzarella. You know, you add the milk to your coffee, so it's an obvious choice to add creaminess mm -hmm. and dairiness to the salted espresso martini. Okay. So that's the second. And then 
Last but not least, this is a smoked eel sandwich with pickled onion and mm -hmm. caper aioli on a beetroot bread. So this is a very unexpected choice because mm -hmm. you usually wouldn't think of eating smoked eel with uh, coffee. Mm. But actually the smoked eel and the salted espresso martini, mm -hmm. they combine together to give your palate a clean finish. Mm -hmm. So after you will eat this and drink the coffee, you won't taste anything afterwards. And the pickled onion adds a bit of a sourness to the sweetness of the espresso martini. Mm -hmm. So you will see, if people don't believe us that uh, it matches, but uh, you will see when you eat it that uh, it actually goes well and the taste is different. So we, we recommend when you take a bite of the sandwich to also uh, have a sip of the martini okay. because it gives a completely different taste okay. to it. So enjoy. Thank you very much. No problem. We're looking forward to this. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Excuse me. And you must have taken a picture for me, of course. Thank as you. you can see, I've already had a bit of the martini. It's really nice. It's strong, but it's really nice and smooth. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, next round. Can you see that? Oh, let's get right in there. someone playing the piano as you can hear in the background as well she's just come along isn't that pretty you can see all the way around there okay sorry hello hello so now we move on to the second course mm -hmm. so we have the cafe fredo okay this is from a different blend than the salted uh, caramel espresso martini mm -hmm. this is from a it's called grand Cru. okay and this one is actually 85 percent arabica Okay. And 15% the robusta bean. Okay. So the robusta bean, the difference is that it's a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. it's darker, and it's okay. stronger. Okay. So this is going to have a bit of a stronger flavor than the mm -hmm. espresso martini. Okay. So, firstly, here we start off with the lamb and rosemary pie. Okay. So, that uh, we recommend to start with that because um, the lamb balances uh, is the earthiness mm -hmm. and the uh, flavor balances out with the cafe fredo. Okay. And uh, the, it's uh, it's a nice way to start, you know, because uh, you have the the pie, so it's like the savory comes mm -hmm. first. Then we move on to the. This is a wild mushroom tumbleweed. Okay. So uh, there's a mushroom inside, and these are fried uh, rice noodles. So it makes like a tumbleweed, like in uh, the mm -hmm. Las Vegas de yes. desert. <laughs> so uh, what uh, this dish does to the coffee is that the mushroom adds creaminess to right. the cafe fredo. Since it's quite strong, mm -hmm. it, it adds a nice uh, creaminess for you to balance it out a little bit more. And then. Lastly, we have a sun blushed tomato spiral with a big bit of piccalilli. So the piccalilli has quite a strong taste, so it's quite sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. So instead of adding a syrup to the Cafe Fredo, mm -hmm. you have the piccalilli to, okay. to add a sweetness and a bit of sourness, like a different flavor mm -hmm. to balance out the bitterness of the coffee. All right, so that's great. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. We're <laughs> no looking problem. forward to this one. Thanks very much. Thank no you. Okay, so there you have it, guys. We'll be back soon. The palate cleanser. So this is made out of uh, blood orange, and uh, so and there is a uh, caramelized ginger, as you can see. So it adds a bit of a zestiness, and so there's sweetness, but it's also a little bit spicy. So that's for you to cleanse the palate from the savouries and the, the sandwiches. So then we can move on to the pastries. So Fantastic. with this, we don't serve coffee because obviously, you know, you need your palate cleansed from the coffee and all the. So. Mm -hmm. from the so okay. enjoy. <laughs> That's great. Thanks very much. No Thank you. Okay then. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is the last course. So it's the de uh, desserts and the sweets. So first we start with the hazelnut opera. Mm -hmm. So we we do that because uh, uh, first of all it has coffee in it as well, so it matches well. And then you know the nuts kind of complement the, the. I don't know if you ever had hazelnut syrup in a coffee or something like that. It it, it complements it very nicely. Then we have uh, the Bailey's Eclair. So this is a classic combination. So the, the Bailey's and coffee, obviously you have Irish coffee, so those goes together. 
Then you have the salted caramel macro macaroon. So this again, it's uh, nice and crunchy, and just like the salted caramel espresso martini, this goes very well with uh, whichever coffee you choose. Then you have the black forest gâteau. So this one we chose because of the richness and the creaminess and uh, uh, because of the cherry liquor. So the cherry goes uh, well with the uh, chocolates and the coffee as well. And last but not least, we have the lemongrass and lime creme brulee. So that's just to finish off uh, with a little bit of a different taste because all of these are chocolatey. So we have a nice and uh, refreshing uh, sour taste. Okay. And then we have two types of scones. We have buttermilk and sultana with clotted cream and uh, uh, different types of fruit uh, preserved. Mm -hmm. So this is, I think, a uh, chorus fruit. Yes. It looks yummy. And then you have uh, the latte and the mocha. Mm -hmm. So the latte has different layers, as you can see, and the mocha has uh, chocolate in it. Wow, thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Last but not least, their signature cafe coretto to finish. So this is a shot of coffee with grappa. I hope you've enjoyed having afternoon tea with me today and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Melinda's Fat Finds. Bye!